Hey guys, it's Alexis, I hope you're doing well. All right, so one of my other videos, I talked about this briefcase right here and how um, it, was, it was flopping, wasn't working well. The, the, the leather got really supple, I didn't put the um, back stiffener in, in between. But anyway, I, I, I kind of modified it a little bit and I just added a thick piece of nine ounce on the bottom. It's not super clean, but it's functional. And now it actually stands up on its own. Uh, like so. Um, so I got that fixed and uh, shout out to this person's comment that said that's what they had to do and it fixed it. So it's not super clean, but uh, the main part of this video um, basically is I made a new briefcase. Oh, this is heavy. It is pretty heavy, it's stocked up. Now a couple of things I did on this model, um, I'll go over what I did different for this one. And uh, just so you know, that's Metro Metropolitan Leather, that's their dark tan with Havana stitch. And um, yeah, so what I did different with this briefcase was I added in between the leather here, in between the layers, I added the bag stiffener, like I talked about before, that fell. The back stiffener, you can buy this a Springfield leather. That's where I got this one. This is a really old one, but you know I don't use it too often. So you can buy that at uh, Springfield leather. I'll put a link in the description for you as I pick up this mess because I'm not going to edit the video because I don't have time to sit there and do that. But I want to talk about what I did different, and that is the back stiffener in between the leather, uh, between the layers, as well as this gusset here. It's a little bit wider. This is five inch gusset versus a four inch gusset, okay? I found that the five inch for me, for what I do, I have some textbooks that I, that I have in there, some books that I need for, for school, um, as well as some documents that I use for work, as well as lock boxes, keys, all that other extra stuff. So a lot more space in there. And um, as far as the pocket design, I kept it simple. I went with a zipper on this one and to be honest with you, the reason why I went simple is because I was too lazy to actually put a zipper in. But I found that the zipper I have for this one, it's a zipper pocket on the inside. See that zipper pocket? What I found was I never really closed it. So essentially it's just a laptop sleeve with a zipper pocket that I never really close. So I went, to go, I went, I went ahead and just not made, I went ahead and uh, not used a zipper. I can't speak. So this is just a regular newspaper sleeve here, pocket. Um, I didn't use that zipper thing in the front. I never really used that one. And inside here, I just have two laptop sleeves. Let me show you. So the same thing. Let me, let me, let me come in here like this. All right, I'm not going to edit it, guys. I got to go. But uh, hold on. You got to bear with me. You know what I'm saying? You gotta bear with me. So essentially it's just a, a laptop sleeve right here, newspaper, laptop sleeve in there, the same as the back, and one in the front. Instead of using, instead of using a zipper pocket, I just went, went ahead and just used a laptop sleeve and the rest in the middle is open. Um, I found that to be useful and that's all I really need. So that's it for this video. It's just another excuse to make a video, to be honest with you. Let me turn this around. My editing skills are terrible as of late because I'm too lazy to, not too lazy, that's a lie. I don't have time, guys. I'm running out of time lately. But, uh, uh, wow, this is a terrible shot. You got my dad bod look in there. All right, so this video, I want to showcase what I did different. Basically, in a nutshell, made this one inch wider here and got rid of all the fancy, uh, got rid of all the fancy zippers and just made laptop sleeves in the back in the front and one in the inside. That's it, that's all I did. As far as the strap, I repurposed the strap for this one because I was too lazy to do another strap, AKA don't have time. And I was just gonna use this temporarily. But let me know in the comments below if that looks good anyway. Um, I think I'm just gonna use this anyway. It kind of gives it a little two-tone look. Uh, eventually, eventually it'll look good, um, I guess, I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's all I got for you. I added this little tag here. I think it looks cool. That's all I got for you guys. God bless you. Talk to you later. 
and I'm gonna do a little special outro for a brother of mine. His name is Lee Simpson and Corey Snyder, if you're watching. Bye. You know I love you, the best out there. Is it Corey, is it Lee? I don't know, no. They gotta fight for